G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and uh, I've just done some clinics here in Scotland. I'm outside this beautiful uh, Falkland Palace here built in the 1500s that was a hunting lodge for the, the Scottish Kings. But uh, something I talked about at these clinics in Scotland here was a bit about how when you take a riding lesson and you know what those instructors do for you in a riding lesson is what I do in horse training and in horse training I'm always telling people I never actually ask a horse to change its body shape like move a body part somewhere what I do is ask them to do something they can't do without changing that body part so it's the horse's idea to do it and you don't tend to get the stiffness and stuff whereas if you're trying to get a horse to actually do something you know move a body part and it's the same if you've ever taken a riding lesson on a lunge line okay they don't tell you to sit up straight and do this and do that. What they do is they say, just put your arms out here, make some big circles. It's all pretty basic, you know, make some big circles, stretch out here, do this exercise, do this exercise, do this exercise. And basically what they're doing is making sure you've got a full range of motion. And once you do all those exercises, when you stop doing those exercises, boom, you are right here. Everything's where it's supposed to be. Because if there's something that sticks out somewhere wrong, like your, your shoulders are hunched, you can't do a full circle with your shoulders hunched. You have to open up your shoulders to do that full circle. If your pelvis is tilted like this, you can't get back here. You have to open your hips to do that thing. So everything, all the exercises you do training horses are like that. They're getting everything loosened up. So when you let go, that horse is in the right spot right there. But you're not actually trying to pick shoulders up and do things like that. You just, you know, I can't tell all the exercises right now because there's a million of them, but just, you know, you do exercises that cause the horses to change their own body shape. You know, you're not asking for the change in the body shape, you're asking them to do something they can't do without changing their body shape. So anyway, hope that helps. Over and out from uh, Bonnie or Scotland.